This can be one reason why you're struggling in your photo shoots and your athletes don't like working with you. At the start of my career, I was doing photo shoots and it always just felt like something was off. It honestly felt like my athletes and I just weren't on the same page. Thankfully though, I was able to figure out the reason why there was so much tension and it was a lack of communication. I can't even begin to describe the difference that I saw in my photo shoots when I started to communicate differently with my athletes on set. I recently did a deep dive on the topic of communication and how that applies to your photography, but in this video I want to put a bit of a twist on it so that you could hear from a veteran athlete who has worked with many different photographers and have them share their thoughts on the topic of communication. I've worked with so many different athletes over my career and everything that he shares in this video is so true no matter what athlete what sport you're shooting with they would all say the same things i'm gonna note though before we start the video that this clip was pulled directly from a course that i just launched i created this course for the people that aren't looking to spend thousands of dollars right now and just have access to a cell phone so if you're looking to just get into action sports photography or you're an athlete and you just want to shoot your friends while you're out doing the sport then this course is for you if this sounds like something you might be interested in you can find the links below to more information all right let's go to the video where i talk with my athlete okay so we just finished shooting and i really wanted to talk Talk about the topic of communication. Communication is really everything in a photo shoot and why I'm shooting with Malcolm specifically and why I wanted him to talk to you specifically is because he's worked with many different photographers myself included and I really wanted him to touch on the aspect of communication and what he feels is best for communication, what he wants to hear from his photographer as he's shooting so that you can talk to your athletes most effectively and understand from an athlete's perspective and maybe you're an athlete specifically but when we go into photographer mode we kind of seem to forget everything else that we know from being an athlete so Malcolm what are some of the things that you appreciate from a photographer when you're on set what are some of the things that you, you like them to say or or direction anything along the lines of that what are some of the things that you like no, you're absolutely right. Communication is huge. Uh, it goes a long way, for, I think, for ride around photographer when you're working in that. It's really nice to break up a bit of the, uh, you know, just riding all the time and work with somebody and different people. But it's really easy for us as athletes to get carried away. I can just hit that same line over and over and keep riding. And unless I communicate to you that you're happy and you communicate with me that you're getting what you want, then what are you out there for? So when we're out there together and you're telling me, especially I, I feed off energy, when you're telling me, hey, this shot was awesome and you're showing me those clips, man, that just builds me up and I wanna go again and you know, get those right angles when I get to see what you're working with and I can see where my bike placement is and see how well it's working. That communication goes a long way. I know you're getting a good, a good product out of it and I know I'm helping with that. So, you know, it's a two-way street. You know, you, you're really good at your job and you're working with people that are good at their jobs of being, you know, subjects of the photos. So when I'm on the bike and I'm working with someone like you that has a confidence, that breeds confidence in me. You know, you're not just sitting there saying, oh, I think I can get a good photo or, you know, you're telling me, you're getting a good photo, you're telling me what's going to work. And when I feel that confidence from you, that brings up the confidence in me and I'm going to hit that jump. I'm going to hit that corner just a little bit harder with a little bit more just because I know that you're going to capture that moment and I, I know it's worth that extra effort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I agree. And like, I think one of the biggest things that I have noticed is the more that I'm shooting, the more that I'm on sets, especially when shooting with yourself is when I display confidence, it shows a level of professionalism. And when you show that you're excited, when you show that you're getting the shots and, and you're doing it properly, even if you don't necessarily capture the exact shot that you want and you say, hey, could we go do that again? And saying it in a positive way, not, oh, we didn't get that shot. I, I can't believe that we screwed that up. Like always having a positive attitude is so key when talking with an athlete, because if you're not positive, they're going to feel like oh, I'm screwing up and, and this isn't exactly what, uh, what I signed up for. Right. So just having that positive vibe. Can you even speak to that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's human nature, right? We all want to feel good. We all want to know we're doing a good job at what we're doing. So when you're giving me that positive energy and I'm trying to give it back in that sense, it makes it more fun. We're out here to have fun, you know, and when we're both trading off that energy, it makes us both more happy to be in that moment. And all, all of a sudden, two hours goes by and you're hitting two or three obstacles and you're getting these amazing photos at the end of it. And it goes so far. So yeah, working off of someone's energy and the confidence that they can bring to it, people can really feed off the people they're around. I want to be a happy and confident person. And when you're a happy, confident person and we get together, man, that just breeds an amazing end product at the end of that. So, and you know, if I see a photographer at my local track that's taking photos, 
sometimes you never even figure out that person's name, but I've had them come up to me and introduce themselves. This is what I do. And hey, you were hitting that jump really well. Are you going to go back out today and hit that again? And we create a bit of a relationship and now I know what he's looking for and you can try to give it to them. So you really got to let people know, you know, what, what you're looking for and it goes both ways. And, you know, that can really make a big difference. Yeah, communication is absolutely everything. So try and implement a few of these things, your confidence, being really detailed with your athletes, with your subjects, and also just building up relationships. Relationships are key, and it's also going to help for when you're out shooting. It builds up that reliance to say, hey, this photographer is going to get exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to get great shots from this day. It's not just going to be a waste of my time. So building up those relationships is also super crucial. So try implementing these tips into every single time you go out, you're shooting with athletes, even if it's friends, you're just building up that confidence. You're building up those relationships to say, hey, I am now doing photography and I'm going to get the results that are going to be worth it in the end. I hope that this gives you a lot of clarity on how your athletes want you to communicate with them while you're out on set. And if you like this video, I think you'll also like this one where I talk about the five biggest myths about action sports photography. All right, I'll catch you over in that video. Peace.